Bishop XC2. With an interesting uh, emblem and paint scheme. Yes, the uh, market of the tail heralding the fact that this year marks the 30th anniversary of Chinook operations in the Royal Air Force. And during that time, the aircraft has been almost continually... Of course, on this 
is in Afghanistan, George. She looks have often been escorted by Army Air Corps Apaches, haven't they? Very much so. It happens regularly. It's a joint effort, not just between different services, but also just on the operation itself. Absolutely essential for to always protect what is going on on the ground. Impossible for the Chinook crew while they're down there. It's a very vulnerable area to be on the ground. And of course, very often taking fire. A roller coaster now. Someone uh, turning the uh, up and down path. Absolutely ghastly. like the tornado, a show of force, but often sends uh, the enemy running into cover. So uh, enabling the Chinook and the medical team in the back to uh, get on and do its job uh, with, a, with a reasonable amount of protection. We mentioned that this has been in service for 30 years with the RAF, but the Chinook first flew, having been designed for the US Army in 1961, but it's been hugely upgraded since. High speed pass to finish. If you have a Chinook flying anywhere near your home, you sure know about it. Oh, well, sadly, yes. Um, I, and those of you that do pick up the phone and ring the low flying uh, cell now and again, uh, oh, please bear with us. You know, this uh, training is essential. And the entire United Kingdom uh, does take its uh, fair share of low flying, whether it be jet or helicopter. So there we go. He's giving a wave now. The crewman back up on the uh, top right-hand side as they come in.